Hello, it's Lou Collins. Today I'm introducing you to my brand new textures collection. This is called Wildflowers. I'm really excited about this one. Firstly, because it's taking a nice refreshing step away from Christmas at the moment and all the festive activities you may be doing, um, but also because I just love the collection. I'm really excited about the designs. Now, the idea of this is that it's based on silhouettes mostly. Uh, so lovely bold black silhouettes with brightly colored backgrounds as you can see here. Um, but it's about your quick and easy cards, really, really simple cards that come together very, very quickly, very fast. Um, and you can be batch making these in no time at all. Um, I just wanted something that were, kind of took the pressure off. You don't need to do loads of fussy cutting or coloring in with this at all. You can absolutely just stamp and go, literally. So I'm going to run you through the collection. We have got um, six, seven items in this collection. You can buy it as a complete collection on Craft Stash. I'm going to put all the links below um, so you can find everything here. In fact, there's there's pretty much one or two links. One if you're in the UK or Europe, and then there's one if you're in the US. Um, so you can go and find this entire collection. This will work really well with previous textures collections as well. Um, so go and take a look and take a look at the amazing prices as well. So you can buy everything together, you can buy everything individually, and then you can also buy two of the items as a bundle because they match. And I'll go through that in a moment. So let's get started very quickly. Um, this is the wildflower background. So wildflower, I love wildflowers. Some people say weeds, I say no, absolutely uh, wildflowers. Uh, they, they're they all pretty in their own different way. Now this panel is just, this was where the whole collection started was with this design. This is a cutting die panel that is five by seven. It, cre it cuts into a five by seven card, okay. <coughs> but it cuts in so that you've just got the detail in the center and it doesn't cut you the edge. You've got the versatility of having the edge to be able to add to that if you want to, which I've done here, but you can also cut this shape and you've got those beautiful kind of florals, leaves, twigs and branches in there. But if I dig in here and find you a card, here we go. This one is one where I've not cut it with the border. I've just cut directly into my card base front uh, and cut that out so you've got this beautiful see-through card. This could be a shaker card, you could put acetate or vellum behind there, you could put lights behind there, whatever it may be. It may just be that this is one bold colour and then all of your blend, ink blending or your pattern papers are behind it to peek through. Whatever you want to do, whatever style of crafting you're into, there's going to be something that suits here. So this is that panel, it looks beautiful just in black with a nice bright colour behind it. This looks a little bit like me to a sunset. Um, we have got the pattern papers as well. I'm referring to those a lot as I go through these cards and through these products because uh, I've designed them to work with things like this beautiful panel. So that is the 5x7 Wildflower panel. Like I say, you'll find this on Craft Stash. Uh, it's fantastic for just making really, really quick cards. You can theme this for any time of year as well. You can go Christmassy. You can go um, You can go with your browns, your greens, and your red berries on there, maybe bits of snow on top. You can then go autumnal with your, your gold and your reds and oranges. Of course, you can just do it in silhouette behind absolutely any colour. You can go spring like with greens, honestly, any time of year. So then we come to um, silhouettes. Now, the entire Wildflowers collection is very, very much about silhouettes, bold black silhouettes on coloured backgrounds, making them so, so quick and easy for you to create. No fussy cutting, no uh, fussy colouring either, no colouring in. I enjoy colouring occasionally, but when I'm making quick cards, it's the last thing I want to be doing. That's where this comes in. So you've got uh, three main stamps here. So you've got your, your large, your bold florals there, your wildflowers. You've also got your dandelion clocks with the seeds coming away in the wind, in the breeze. I love the movement of that stamp. And then at the bottom here, we've got the field of like barley, wheat, grasses, it could be the edge of a pond, it could be a golden uh, field at sunset, whatever you want it to be. We've also got some bumblebees in there, three individual bumblebees that you can place around any of these. Let me show you some examples of this one. So there's one, uh, just using this tall one here. You can mix and match these as well, you can layer them up too. We've got the bumblebees there, but putting this onto a uh, an ombre background, which I've done using the pattern paper, just simply stamping it. I've stamped it twice, I've done it in a grey, and then I've slightly moved the stamp and done it in a black as well to give you a little bit of dimension there bit of a drop shadow uh, and then a white sentiment on top. Honestly, it's that quick and easy and you've got a beautiful card. 
Um, there's another one here. This was probably the quickest card I've made of the, all of the inspiration that I'm going to show you. It's again, simply taking one of the pattern papers. We will go through those later. Um, and simply stamping a black, a bold black silhouette on top. So you've got two of the stamps here because you've got the tall wildflowers, then you've got the dandelion clocks as well and the bumblebees just slot in. You've actually got, you can just see a bumblebee on the edge of the page there too. Um, a simple sentiment and that was done. That was that card, honestly, that quick and easy. So I love this. This is again, one between this die and this stamp set, this is where I started the design for the whole collection. But then I also designed another stamp set. Now this one, you can buy as a bundle, the stamp and the die sets come together. And that is because although the packaging is much smaller, the images on the packaging are smaller, the die for this stamp is in here. So you can cut that out. I said there's no fussy cutting, but where you've got an element like a butterfly, you're likely to want to have that cut out so you can raise the wings on it, you can do it a different color. So if I just dig in here, we've actually got some really quite large dies in here. So we've got the beautiful large, dragonfly it's stunning and you do get all this detail in the wings i'll show you a card in a moment with it absolutely beautiful we've then got the die for that stamp here for the butterfly stamp so it's well worth grabbing these two together as a pair um, but that on its own makes a beautiful silhouette and aperture maybe for shaker cards and such we've got this panel so this is your wildflowers again um beautiful in black let me just pick out um, I'm going to show you this one as well, actually, because that's the butterfly. Here we go. Look at this. So we'll go over the background in a minute, but you can just see those black silhouette wildflowers. And of course, you can be taking this and you can be layering it up as well if you want to, flipping it over and adding layers and layers of wildflowers if you want that to be a heavier sort of foreground silhouette if you want to. So uh, lots of options with this. We've also got in here other things. So we've got, let me show you on this card because this little card could be a place setting. It could be um, just a little gift tag, something like that. Uh, is really really cute so i've simply stamped the butterfly i've cut it out now you notice where i've cut it out with the dye there's no white line there's no or pink or orange line around the outside this was so quick and easy to do i used one of the pattern papers so i got the ombre effect i stamped in black and i cut it out using this outline um, so the ink goes all the way to the edge i then simply cut from cardstock um, this little tag here, it's just got the number 37 in it. It's a random number, but it's a nice little vintage um, number plaque there. I die cut that, I embossed that with silver and placed that, give it a bit of shape, placed it in the middle. That's just so, so cute. I really like that. Um, but we've also got in here things like a tag and uh, the top for a tag. So if you want to be creating uh, tags out of any sort of cardstock, one thing that I often find is the hardest to do is to get that top of the tag even. And you've also got the little eyelet there for your string too. So you can create your tags with that. And we've also got this. Now this is your ink splats. You probably can't see that very well. But if we have a look on here, you see this group of ink splats there just die cut these from black and have them available to just kind of splosh around on your card, especially if you're doing something like mixed media, it saves you actually reaching for the inks and the paints and getting messy. So nice clean crafting. So let's pop those away. So they are the dies available individually, but you can also purchase them with the stamps. Now the stamps are looking at that butterfly, as you can see, um, but we've also got a lot in here that's going to build up your backgrounds, um, but also lots of sentiments as well. So you can see quite boldly we've got fly love and hope in the typical textures font that's that kind of label print style um love to stamp these in different colors they don't have to be black of course now you've got the silhouettes of the birds flying here as well that works so well with um well with the cloud sense which i'm going to come to but also the silhouettes that we've got here so um in this one you can just see the bird silhouettes in the background there um, they're really, really lovely and they're nice and subtle, but they can actually be a focal point if you want them to be. We've got some little numbered coins here, tokens. We've got capture the moment, nature's canvas. Every achievement begins with a single step. Create something beautiful every day and celebrate being you as your sentiments. I think that kind of covers virtually every um, occasion that you might want to craft for. I really love this numbered background. It's random numbers. You can just stamp that. I actually did that on a card here let's show you on this one it's very very subtle and i prefer to use it subtly actually 
Um, we've, I just did it with Versa Mark Ink, so you can maybe just see it in the background there. To give a bit of texture, that's what textures is all about. Um, and then we've got the brick wall as texture as well, which you can use. So really lovely uh, stamp and die set. You can buy them together or you can buy them separately. Now coming on to something which I think I'm going to be bringing out time and time and time again. I'm hoping to put something similar to this in many of the future textures collections because I just found I'm using it, I'm wanting to use it on every single card. Now it's four sentiment dies. Each die is just one die piece and they are big. They are nice and large. You can cut into them as well. Um, you can see I've been using them. I've not been cleaning them out, but we've got here. So birthday love, which you can see on this one. So that's all one piece. All I did is I cut it twice, do two different color card stocks and then cut out the word love and placed it on. But you could easily cut out either birthday or love and use it completely separately. You don't have to use it with the other word. We've then got, uh, this is probably my favorite, wild and free, as you've seen in examples on both of these, wild and free. Lovely, I mean, something like for my daughter, she's a teenager at the moment, she loves all this sort of theme. Uh, this wild and free die is just perfect for something for her on maybe a card for her. And I really like the ampersand is actually um, an outline, but you can paper piece back into that if you want to. So it looks gorgeous. Now with each of these, I've used craft slash foam just to raise those up. We've got uh, the sky is the limit die here as well. See, another really good size. And what I love about this is it can be for so many different occasions. You know, if somebody's going for a job, going to university, um, have their driving test, whatever it may be, if you want to wish them luck, congratulate them, anything like that, it's really good. Maybe you just want to give someone a little bit of hope or um, just encourage them a little bit. So it's a lovely one to have in your craft stash. And then lastly, we've got time flies. I think with the bumblebees, with the dragonfly, with the butterfly, and with the birds as well, the word the words time flies just kind of worked. I just thought it would it would work really well. And you've got that just here. You can see that on that card there. Nice and big, nice bold font that is just really readable as well. So yeah, beautiful, love those. Um, like I say, these are gonna be coming out time and time again. Although they are part of the Wildflowers collection, you can absolutely be using them um, to mix and match with any textures collections, but also any other things that you have at home. Now this is really exciting. I was, when I first got this collection through in the post, when I first got it all in my hands so I could start testing it out, it was this one that I grabbed first because I was so excited. I designed it all on the computer and doing it on the computer is fine, but until you actually have the stencils in your hand, you're not sure whether it's actually going to work in the way you hope it will. But it did, and I'm really thrilled, so I cannot wait to show you. So I've got a Live and Craft stash, um, 12.30 on Wednesday, the 7th of December. It's 2022, if you're watching this back. Um, I will be demonstrating this live to show you, but you can see some sneak peeks. So it is a layering stencil. You're going to stencil through your sky color and then you're going to stencil through the shadows into the clouds. So whatever your base color cardstock is, that is going to be the main color of your clouds. Okay, so in this case, white. So I used the first stencil to stencil the sky, which was the blue and pink. I did an ombre effect. And then I lay this stencil over the top and that picks out the shadows that's left in your clouds and you do that in a pale gray or a gray or a darker color. Um, so this is a lovely sort of sunrise or sunset sky, whichever way you want to look at it. Very, very easy and so effective. I'm absolutely thrilled with how it came out. And on this card, which I've already kind of shown you, just alluded to, uh, we've actually got it as a night sky. So the color card stuff I started out with as I said, the main cloud color is your first color, your, your cardstock, and that was a pale blue, so a bluey gray color. Um, I then did uh, a darker blue as the night sky, and I flipped some spots of white paint in there for stars before I removed the stencil. And then I came in with, uh, it was almost a black, it was a distress oxide black soot for the shadows in the clouds. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, so you get you can get a night sky, you can get sunrise. I've got lots of other color combinations that I want to play with as well. So you can see how that works. So that is absolutely fantastic for creating unusual backgrounds. And it doesn't have to be on cards either. It can be in your journals and things like that too. And lastly, because I've spoken about it a lot, um, and you, I will show you, I think there's, I don't think there's many samples actually that I've not shown you yet, maybe just 
this one and I've got an art journal page I'm still working on it it's a working progress I want to add some more to that too um, and there's some fantastic samples I'm hoping to show you on the channel soon that the lovely Sarah Jane Smallwood has created for me and they're absolutely beautiful too but these are the papers so this is the paper pack you've got 24 sheets in here they're 170 GSM I didn't want a heavyweight paper I wanted something because I knew you were going to be stamping onto it I wanted it nice and smooth for that reason the colours, look at this colour, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And then look at this one as well. You can, you know, you'll be using these time and time again for so many different projects. You've got your much paler, lighter colour rainbows there. You've got a beautiful ombre between almost a yellow, a citrus sort of green, and then your minty green, your teal colour. And you've got your green gra green grass it's almost as if you're looking up through the trees it's blurred you've got the sunlight there you've got the the rays of sun coming down in the blue sky and then you've got another version of the rainbow effect now amongst these I've just used them so so many times um, you could even use these with your cloud stencil you can just very very simply take any one of these as I have so just here I've just taken this pattern a simple stamp on the front there and as, as a silhouette and a sentiment and you're done again just using the silhouette that's this one here so this paper just simply stamping or rather laying a black die cut the panel die over the top a sentiment and you're done and one more here just to show you again that is this one just here just simply stamping onto it and then um, adding a sentiment. It's just so quick, that's what textures. Wildflowers is all about is your super, super quick cards. So if you love this collection as much as I do, please pop onto the link below, go and browse it, browse the prices, browse the availability because I'm hoping this one isn't going to hang around very long. Uh, it's officially available from Wednesday the 7th of December, but I usually it goes on sale on Tuesday the 6th, the day before, so Tuesday the 6th in the evening, so that's why this video is coming out to you now. Um, if you like things like this, I am going to be putting lots of um, smaller um, kind of inspirational and technique-y type videos with this collection up very, very soon over the next few days so you can learn how to use the stencil exactly, um, how to do stamping with the silhouettes for very quick cards, things like this. So uh, keep an eye on my channel. If you like this, please do subscribe and I will see you back here very, very soon with some more inspiration. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.